Fashion Week is my dream event. I am sustainably stylish and I am at Fashion Week 2023. I've made it. So hot. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, it's so muggy. Oh. When you disregard what your greed really translates into environmentally. Fashion Week is my dream event. It's the one that tells the world that yes, I've made a name for myself. I am sustainably stylish and I am at Fashion Week. From my humble perspective, Fashion Week compromises your integrity, health and sustainability. Fashion Week, it fuels your greed. Let's discuss. Number five, most fashion shows, they often show items that have already been made, that are actually the creative designs of people from ages ago. Number four, Fashion Week, it drives FOMO, fear of missing out, and it fuels the growth of the F culture. We are all not able to afford what you are showing before you go, while you're there and afterwards. That fuels greed. On your path, do not in any way feel that you are missing out. You're not. Because where are you going in those tassels? Number three, it really, really compromises your mental health in the sense that Whenever there's this hype around Fashion Week, whether it's New York, Milan, London, Paris, you're following them and oh my God. It's Number four, Fashion Weeks pits influencers against each other. I think I was counting wrong. That was number two. So number two, it pits influencers the models against each other. You could actually sense it. You could see it in the videos. It comes across. If you're not paying attention to details, you may miss it, but I credit myself with paying attention to details because many of my past job description requires meticulous <laughs> attention to details. So I noticed those things. Physically, you feel that you're not looking your best. You feel that you're not representing yourself and you feel like you're not putting your best foot forward despite the fact that it's the brand dressing you. So it does pits them against each other and it's not a good feeling. So fashion weeks, it's, it's unhealthy. Even in the modeling industry itself, you see that happening. It fuels not only greed to buy what you're seeing, but it pits these influences, the models, against each other. It's very unhealthy. And I'm not saying that most work environment do not have aspects of being unhealthy. That is why there are so many processes and protocols in place to address any issues when it comes to working in toxic and unhealthy environments. That's a huge other topic by itself. But from my observation, Fashion Weeks pits the models' influences against each other. Number one, the impact of fashion shows on the environment. 
we often hear influencers complaining oh my god new york fashion week was so hot it's so muggy i can't breathe oh my god oh it's storming outside i am getting wet wow the weather is so unpredictable and oh my god don't even mention about the air itself you can't breathe well because not only is it muggy from all the many forest fires and the smoke fog you can't breathe well it's interesting that here they are at an event that has a huge impact on the environment yet they're failing to put one plus one together it still makes two there is a huge some would like to say correlation it's no longer correlation the fashion industry it has a huge negative impact on the environment and i think when it comes to fashion shows i am on board with the copenhagen and the swedish fashion industry the Swedish Fashion Council made waves in July by announcing that it would be cancelling Stockholm Fashion Week indefinitely, claiming that, quote, we are aware of the problem and repeating what we have done in the past will not allow the necessary change to happen. Switching from regular to organic cotton is not going to cut it neither will yet another fashion week in organic suiting guys this is brilliant and it's definitely a step in the right direction the article from fashionista continues there are some who argue in favor of fashion week on the premise that it could actually have a more significant positive impact on the environment by essentially looking at sustainability in a different way. Copenhagen Fashion Week is one such component. It introduced sustainability requirement for any brands wishing to show on its scheduled season and promise to reduce its own greenhouse gas emissions by 50% over the next three years so unless a brand could promise that they could reduce their greenhouse gas emissions by 50 percent it's not going to be shown on the copenhagen fashion shows guys that is amazing i think it's a great step in the right direction and it more brands more countries need to get on board because the fashion weeks shows compromise the environment for example a chart from statista.com shows that new york fashion shows the chart shows that new york fashion weeks had the worst environmental impact worldwide responsible for over 60,000 tcot emissions one year alone followed by paris then london the average carbon footprint for a buyer is 12.1 guys these are not great statistics they are not the environmental impact of these it's enormous it's almost as a third world country for example St. Kitts Nevis so one has to be mindful of the environmental impact of these fashion shows statistics do not lie while I am a huge stylist I'm into style I'm into fabrics I'm into looking good. I love looking good. I love a great outfit. I think fashion brands should really, really keep in mind 
the fabrics, the fabrics they use during their fashion shows, what's being done after fashion shows. Most of the fashion that you see, the ones that are deemed unwearable, oh my God, they utilize so many synthetic materials for impact, for fame, that is greed, for recognition. Recognition at the risk of the environment. How does that compute? So when these fashion shows are over, most of these items, especially the unwearable ones, the ones that are just there as art, the ones that are just there to showcase your creativity, the ones that are just there to be placed in some sort of museum somewhere, are they really worth it? I think that the fashion industry, one, they could do better, adopt the Sweden and Copenhagen model and do better. Secondly, they could also use models instead of many influencers traveling so many distances. As influencers, your carbon footprints are huge. When you travel, hop from country to country, thousands of miles, you have become Bigfoot. Yeah, you have become Bigfoot. So the solution is they could use local influencers. Bring these out. Hype them up. The other influencers who wants to support the brands or if the brands want to dress you, support you, they could do the same. They could do it the way you do. You could bring attention to their brands the same way you did it during COVID-19. Yeah. You could still bring awareness, but stay at home. Reduce your carbon footprints. And as influencers, you won't be missing out at all. You would still get paid, because I know that's a huge issue. Importantly, what you could do is to get the brand to give you the copyright to use their images that their photographers take during the fashion shows and bring awareness to the brand on your channel. It's one of the sustainable ways that you could represent a brand and still being paid. But many influencers, you do not challenge these brands. You are actually the powerful ones. You could tell them what to do. If they are challenging and compromising your integrity, your values, by giving you items that are mal aligned with your values, that are mal aligned with your style, push back. I have seen so many influencers representing companies such as Walmart. Really? Do, do the Waltons really need more promotions? They don't. Do you know the way they treat their workers? Do you really want to contribute to more generational wealth of this family? Really? Do you want LV continues non-sustainably? That's the issue. Challenge them and let them actually give you styles that are aligned with your style that you show us. And if they really, really want you to promote their brands, they should create an item that is your style in a sustainable way. You need to push back so many of you because of greed. And that is why I say fashion weeks fuel your greed because one could see that some of these brands are definitely not you. Some of these items, are, are they are not you at all. They do not even fit in to your everyday life. You have the power to push back. A second thing that they could do, reuse materials that are already in existence. There's no use to go and make new items from virgin materials. It's not worth the impact. So, what you need to remember about Fashion Weeks? Apart from the fact that one, 
it brings trends to your attention that you really don't need they already exist you don't need you don't need new ones two it creates formal and the F culture three it pits you against each other really you don't need that or you complain about it's so hot oh it's so cold oh it's so muggy oh when you disregard what your greed really translates into environmentally needless to state the mental the physical toll that fashion weeks shows take on you i hope that you have learned something i hope that you would Consider your impact and do something about it. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself. Bye. So this is my contribution to Fashion Weeks.